it's Margaret and today I'm bringing you the weekly sales update. Um, this is a long time coming. I have not done a weekly sales update for my eBay and Etsy in about a month um, because we went out of town so I was out for about two weeks, had my storm vacation, I came back and decided I wanted to reorganize everything. So I turned my store back on but I haven't been listing so things have been pretty slow and but they've actually done better than I thought they might. So let me come over and we'll start with my Etsy sales. They might be a little out of order in my, in, down here, just because they might. All right, let me get this straight down. Okay, so this item sold, this is Alpine Strawberry Gift Wrap. It came in that lot, so it was about 10 cents. Um, it sold for $14.99, and so after shipping and fees, my net was $14.75. Here we have a Minnesota Governor, this is a Jesse Ventura mug. It, uh, I picked it up for 50 cents, it sold for $18.99, and so my net was $18.98. The fees are way lower on Etsy. I was messed up a little bit, I was messed up, I messed up a little bit on the shipping. But take a look, this is what the mug looked like, and as a tip, I didn't use this as my um, first image, my thumbnail, because this one captures the image on the mug because most people know unless it's an unusual shaped mug they know what a mug looks like right so um, this was the image i chose to pop up first so next up we have this souvenir demi toss uh, cup and saucer it's really small and it came i think this is to germantown uh, or swiss one or the other and this was in my grandmother's collection so it cost me zero it sold for $14.99, and so my net was $13.29. And this has been up for a while. This is a Scrimshaw pendant that came in a lot um, from the auction. There were about six items in this bone ivory lot, and this was one of the six. And I paid $14 for the whole lot, so this was about two, $2.50, maybe you know, a little bit less. It was about this big. It was teeny, teeny, teeny. Um, so it sold, let's see where to go. It sold for $44.99, which net me $40.07. Um, again, I, not again, but <laughs> I did this before and I had to redo it. So again, because it's again for me. Anyway, well, um, I, I sold this on Etsy. I couldn't list it on eBay. They're very strict about their bone and ivory. Even if it's not ivory and it is bone, they want to know, you know, where is it from? What kind of animal? What country? You know, and so if you don't have all that kind of documentation and yeah, no, you'll get it pulled down. <laughs> so next up was this costume jewelry stackable ring. Uh, it came in a lot of other stuff. So it was about $2.83. It's over $14.99, and then that net me $14.75. Here we have got a little toothpick holder. Um, this was also something in my grandmother's collection. A friend of hers, Lenora, painted it. Uh, it's over $24.99, and that net me $23.45. But this is my grandmother's style of painting, too. Lots of gold and little flowers and things. So when I first saw it, I thought it was one that she had done, but no, her friend Lenora did it. All right, next we have a Star Trek mug. This sold, um, I picked it up for 50 cents. It sold for $17.99. And so my net there was $19.75. I think I have these two things flopped around. Anyway, all right. I feel out of it today, guys. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. All righty, now we are over on eBay. So let me scroll down to my eBay sales. Again, these are kind of out of order, so it might take me a second to find it. All right, so here we go. Honora Collection, Freshwater Pearls. These have sold before, um, and then they were returned because the lady, I don't know, the size was not what she was expecting, so they were returned. I resold them. I've had them up for at least a year, um, and I did price them high. I picked them up from a lady off of a local garage sale site for $5, and I... I put a high price on them because I do that. <laughs> and then it didn't sell, well, it sold, and then it came back, whatever. And so I decided that I would, didn't mind taking the best offer of $29. Um, so my net was still $22.60, which I think is a very good profit on these. I don't mind that. Plus, you know, I needed some sales. All 
Alrighty, so here we have got some happy birthday um, wrapping paper. I believe this came in that lot. If not, it was instead of 10 cents, then it would have been 25 cents. I don't pay more than 25 cents unless it is amazing wrapping paper. You know what I mean? But I'm telling you what, this wrapping paper sells. So $12.74 is what it sold for. So after shipping and fees, my net was $13.92. I messed up on the shipping and charged a little too much there. Now, I don't know what you have to tell me. I've been selling patterns lately and I'm, I usually don't have a problem selling costume type patterns, but I've sold a few patterns that were other patterns, random, you know, and in the, like, since I came back from our trip, I've sold a, a few patterns. So I don't know what's going on with that, but so here's a Vogue pattern I picked up for a quarter, sold for $12.99 and for whatever reason I didn't put this in here how much they paid or I flip flop these around again. So my net there was about $8.30. It may have been a little more because I put they didn't pay shipping, but I, I think they did. Yes, they did. Okay. Mm. Okay. So here are these, this game of per perfection pieces. Um, so I actually bought this game, the whole thing, and was super excited about it. I was going to keep it because we didn't have it. <laughs> and it was one of those my mom never let me have because it makes noise, you know, <laughs> whenever it pops up. Um, but I bought it for a dollar at the local charity shop. It ended up not working. And so I thought, you know what, instead of scrapping the whole thing, I'm going to see if I can just sell the pieces. So I popped all the pieces out, laid them out, took pictures, and sure enough, they sold. And it's only been, I mean, we we had that game challenge in International League of Thrifters a while back, and that's when I listed these. So maybe a couple months. But, um, and then I think I had to make sure I put the right, you know, which year game it was from, because I don't know if the size of pieces changed or whatever. So they sold for eleven twenty four, and that net me $9.37. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. And then... <laughs> And then I was going through stuff, cleaning out my workroom, and I was like, okay, I'm going to start, you know, gutting out these plush that I've had forever, right? Some of these that I've had, and this is one. And it didn't make the cut. I was like, you know what? I'm going to give it just a little bit more time, you know, at a few of them that I was like, okay, a few more. Pick this up for 50 cents instead of selling. So right after I, I don't know, I gave it that warning. Maybe that's what you need to do. Go around your room, your stock room, whatever, and start warning things. Okay, you've got one more week and then you're out of here. And then poof, it'll sell. <laughs> anyway, so this black bear, yeah, he was gonna go in the next sweep of, of clean out stuff. Uh, he, I took a best offer of $15 after shipping and fees uh, and at 13 dollars and this was going, both, I think, both the plush that I sold here went in the global shipping program, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Okay, another <laughs> pattern that sold. This is, let's see, where'd you go? Here it is, McCall. Okay, so I paid 25 cents for this pattern. I thought they were really cute. I was tempted to keep it and make it myself. One of those puppies. Aren't they super cute? Anyway, um, sold for $8.99. Um, so after shipping and fees, my net was $7.58. Not too bad. So yeah, I like the craft patterns and I like the costume patterns. I have some other type patterns. Anyway, so here's another one of those plush that I was like, okay, this was in my warning. Like, if you don't sell soon, you're out of here. Um, but it did. This one I got, I must have just had all my stuff that I picked up because I think I got this at Goodwill and then just kind of averaged everything out. Um, I don't know why. So 43 cents is what I have that I paid for it. Uh, I took a best offer of $10 and then they paid shipping and all that. So uh, my net was $7.88. Not bad, not bad. And then these are just the gifts that keep on giving. I love them so much and they're running out. I think I only have like three left in there. Oh, but they were, they've been really good to me. So make sure I'm going in the right order here because I sold a couple of them. Pardon me. There it is. All right. So I paid a uh, dollar for these. I bought a whole bunch of them from Jenny, the lady that cleans out the houses. I need to have Jenny come on and talk to me. Anyway, I took a best offer of $13 on this. This is $13 is less than I've taken on the offers, but I hadn't been getting a lot of sales. I just came back from vacation. So I thought, okay, I'll just take it. And 15 was like usually the lowest I would have accepted. 
But still, you know, my net there was, doo -doo -doo. I'm on the wrong line again. Where did you go? Where they are. Um, so my net there was $11.12. Still pretty good. This I bought also from a lady off of the local garage sale site. I got this and then she had a couple other compacts, but this is the one that caught my eye. This one is a Swarovski Crystal Estee Lauder um, like powder and it had a bit of, you know, scratch in it and there was a couple stones missing as well. Um, but I, I disclosed everything and priced it high. I, again, I did take a best offer <laughs> because I, you know, like I said, Picked it up for like three bucks, probably less, because I think I've got all of the little compacts and mirrors and stuff for maybe five dollars. Um, so I was cool with taking the best offer of forty-five dollars and one cent. So that was okay with me. So after shipping and fees, my net was forty dollars and three cents. Mm -hmm. Oh, collared pins and collar stays. I love them. Love them. I love them. So here we have a collar pin that I paid a buck 54. This, I, I may have the, the prices are on these backwards because I think this came in that lot where I got three for a dime, but I can't remember because they're all thrown in together now. So it was either about 50 cents or five cents or a buck 50, whatever. I put a buck 50 just because, sold for 19.99 you guys. I'm telling you, you can find these cheap and sell them for money. So uh, my net there was $16.55. And then here I sold another one. This one I put that I put fifty. I paid fifty cents for it. That's probably right on this one. Um, and I yeah, nineteen dollars and eighty nine cents is what it sold for. That's strange because I don't normally put eighty nine cents, but I had things on sale. I don't know. Um, so anyway, uh, my net there was twenty two dollars and fifty four cents. I don't think that's right. I think these two numbers got flip flopped. I was doing my numbers last night and I was tired. So it may be a little less than that for sure. So anyway, at least, you know, about $18, $18 or so. I don't want to have to go redo it all. You get the idea, right? Okay, I'll be better next week. I'll double check my numbers before I come on. But you still, you, you get to see what I bought it for and what it actually sold for. My net might be messed up. But this is the actual shipping and the actual what it, you know, what it shipped for, whatever. Okay. <sighs> okay, okay. So this I picked up at a garage sale. There were two, this one and another one, and I didn't know what they were. But then on the back, it does say WWE. So there. Look. It's like, okay, I don't know what this is, but I'm going to take a chance on it. <laughs> wrestling, right? Wrestling. That's people like wrestling stuff. Paid a dollar. It sold for $14.99. So that net me $12.74. Alrighty. <clears throat> So I sold another pattern. I loved these aprons. They were so cute, but um, I had to sell them. <laughs> so I picked it up for 25 cents. It sold for $8.99, which net me $7.26. Pretty good. And then again, I, li I love selling the costume patterns. This one, the, the packaging was pretty tattered, but it was still uncut right so I was pretty excited that about that you know so that sold let's see picked it up for a quarter sold for twelve dollars and that net me ten dollars and thirteen cents I'm telling you I had quite a few patterns sell pretty good this was an old ledger like recording book that uh, my grandmother had she'd even signed it but she'd never used it uh, it was pretty it was all blank on the inside so yeah it sold I you know can't keep everything so it cost me zero, sold for $8, I took a best offer, and my net there was $7.96. Okay. And then this was also something of my grandmother, she had a lot of thimbles. So this is a Delft, and this actually went, I think it went home, because it went to the Global Shipping Program, and the name sounded Dutch or Scandinavian or something like that. So, um, sold for $15.67. And net me thirteen eighty three. Another one of these sold. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Um, paid a dollar, and this one they paid. They paid the price that I have listed on it, which is twenty four ninety nine. And like I said, I just throw a big number on it, and but then I was I've been accepting offers all the way down to fifteen dollars because why not? Those are those when when people ask like, 
are you the slow dime or the quick nickel? You know, and I'm like both. All right. These are my ones that I'm like, yes, let's just make that money on them, you know? Um, and then other things I hold on to and make longer, make longer. Gosh, <laughs> this is not my day for talking with words. <laughs> Alrighty, so my net there was $21.25. And here we have got this Los Angeles uh, 1984 Olympics hat. I bet, I bet, so what do I tell you? I bet a dollar for it. I bet a dollar. And I promise y'all, I'm not drunk. I <laughs> have diet soda. Maybe I'm just tired. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's. Oh, okay. Paid a dollar for it. I took a best offer of $15 and so my net was $11.58. And then the last one, this is the best. <laughs> this one is a, where is the, uh, let me get it down here. Okay. So here's this Bible. <laughs> Bible happening. <not. laughs> I'm in the grocery store and this is one of the first things that I get an offer on whenever I come back and turn my store back on from vacation. And the offer, they, it's one of those people that writes like these mean things like bashing your item, right? Like seeing as this is a putrid pink color and it's got somebody else's name written in the cover and there's highlighting and all there's writing inside of this Bible. I think, you know, $15 with $4.16 shipping should be adequate. I think $40.99 might be a bit excessive for the condition and the, I mean, they were just trashing it. And I was like... I don't care. I got it for free. So whatever I make on it is a profit. I don't care, you know? So yeah, so I, I'm like, I hope they don't think that I, they probably do think that I accepted their offer because they were, I don't even know. So I shared it with some of my friends here. was like, did you, you know, show them your finger or whatever? Like, no, I didn't. I took the offer. I don't care. They could, I'm making money on it. So anyway, if, if I didn't, you know, I guess I could have if I was in the mood, but honestly, I just laughed. I was like, who does that? Who does that? Somebody. Somebody does. Alrighty, let's take a look. So on Etsy, for the last about month or so, the last update, I don't remember if I did this in the last video when I messed up, and the last update I did was on 6 13, was June 13th, and now we are like July something. So it's been a while. That's okay, we're gonna get things back on track. That's okay. So on Etsy, my total for the, all of that time was $141.98. And my total on eBay was $271.45. So my total since our last weekly sales update for eBay and Etsy was $413.43. So not too bad. Honestly, yeah, I, I'm surprised so much has been selling because of just, not listing, you know, I mean, but I think accepting offers and having activity on the account kind of helps. I don't know. So yeah, that's it. So going forward, I have some Pokemon stacked here that I'm going to be listing Pokemon games and puzzles um, that I picked up last year at the Green Room Hangout. Not this July, but a full year ago, July. And there's <laughs> footage of it in my video from a year ago <laughs> anyway that's what's happening and then I'm going to be really focusing on I have a big pile of stuff for Amazon um, and my video yesterday where I'm, I was updating what's going on I shared how I cleaned out my room and I found tons of stuff from different hauls that I picked up to send into Amazon enough to fill four tubs full four five tabs over there there's one more that wouldn't fit under the table and then I have a whole shelf full of games some new some used that I need to go through so I'm gonna be a bit Amazon heavy in the next few weeks few plus some weeks maybe and then I'll get back on track with the other listing but that's the main focus first um, Pokemon games FBA all right, so hopefully you are having a prosperous summer so far. I certainly hope you do. If you enjoyed this kind of video and you're not already subscribed, think about hitting that subscribe button. Every week I put out videos about Amazon, eBay, Etsy. Monday is my sales update video. I also have another day of the week where I'll update a 
an Am Amazon FBA sales Amazon FBA sales update. I usually do those in two week chunks now. And I also do whole videos and lots of other fun things. So again, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and join in. <laughs> and I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks so much. Bye.